Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Chaos Magic, where we will uh, pick a random hero and a random villain and build a random deck for that hero. And also, because we are using the web page where we can build the uh, hero deck randomly, I am limiting the villains to standard mode, so we are not playing on expert difficulty. So, first off, let's see uh, which hero we will get. So, we have the trusty Marvel hero deck generator here. So, let's pick the hero. And because we already played with Ant-Man, I'm re-rolling that. So, we get Spider-Woman Aggression, but uh, I'm just generating the other aspect by random, so even if we get another... Um, well, um, let's uh, just say that I'm picking the Aggression, and uh, the other can be whatever, and we will let the website decide which uh, aspect will be the second aspect for Spider Woman. And then uh, let's see what villain we will get. So, uh, again, I'm re rolling if we get the same ones as before. Uh, yeah, we've already played against the Wrecking Crew, so I'm re rolling. And we get Green Goblin, with the Master of Time modular set, so. That will be actually interesting, so... Okay, so... Um, Spider-Woman with Aggression and something against Green Goblin uh, Mutagen Formula with the Master of Time modular set, so... Let's hop onto the website and let's build the deck, so let's get going. Okay, so we have the website on here and... Uh, uh, there has been some upgrades from the last time I used this website page, so this version 0 0.85. Uh, now we can choose um, the number of players and uh, aspect randomizations and stuff like that, but I think just so we, we are using everything that is out uh, by now, and I, I already checked that the latest campaign box is not available here yet and that's good because I don't have it I don't have any cards from that but we will choose the hero which will be uh, spider woman or oh, not Drax but spider woman okay and we are building one deck and we will generate the deck I'll just hop over here push uh, generate the deck and we have Spider Woman Aggression Leadership. So right away we hit a le legal deck with which we are looking for. So okay, um, I think I'll build the deck at this point. Then I will uh, transfer it to MarvelCDB.com, and we can look at the cards better there. So I will be right back. Okay, and I have built the decks for the hero and the villain. So let's hop on to marveldp.com where I can look at the cards better. Okay, so here is the deck in uh, marveldp, uh, marvelcdp.com. So first off, we have seven allies. Uh, we have Angela, Hog, and Falcon, Iron Man, Was, and Yondu. Uh, first off, uh, Angela mm, might be okay. Uh, we will probably draw a um, Goblin minion with Angela every time we play, play her. But I think we have ways to defeat those minions. Uh, then we have Bug and um, Bug. Um, is actually quite good 
because we have ways to ready Spider Woman and make the basic attacks with her. So Bug will stay on for longer. Uh, Falcon is a decent ally to remove some threats. Iron Man, uh, well, it's a costly ally and we don't have that much uh, attachment support for the Iron Man. So we only have like a reinforced suit because Combs implant can't go onto Iron Man because he is not Guardian. But um, we have Yondu that can have the Combs implant, so the Combs implants are not complete dead cards in the deck. Uh, then we have Wasp, of course. Um, we have decent amounts of uh, energy resources to pump up Wasp, so might be okay. And of course Yondu. Um, Yondu is uh, not that uh, special. We have the comms implant, so we get plus one thwart and plus one hit point for uh, Yondu. So that is a good synergy. Uh, dive bomb uh, is only really good when we get to activate. Of, uh, aerial on Spider Woman. Lucky we have uh, access to Aerial from the uh, Spider Woman signature cards. Get over here, only deals one damage and is utterly useless uh, in a true solo game. Then uh, looking for trouble. Uh, it is a way to remove threats and uh, we, we get the minion from that, so it, it might be useful. Uh, Moxie uh, might be useful because we probably will switch from uh, Alter Ego to Hero Mode now and then, so Moxie could be useful at that moment. Uh, Piercing Strike is an okay card. Uh, 2 cost 3 damage, so helps us to defeat all of those um, minions. Uh, then we have the resources, nothing much to talk about them. Uh, I think with these uh, cars to power of leadership are not that important, but it is what it is. Uh, team training will be really good. We'll boost our um, low health allies up a bit, so that is good. Uh, brute force, <laughs> not that interesting. Uh, I already talked about comes in plant and Yondu, so at least we can play Yondu. Uh, Lion Weight. Uh, we will be engaging with the minion, so at least we can deal damage with Lion Weight to those. A reinforced suit. Uh, we can play it on any ally, so that is good. And tenacity is not that exciting, so all in all. I think this is an okay deck because Spider Woman's uh, signature set is so strong that the cards uh, that we add from the aspects to the deck uh, can be a bit weaker. And uh, of course, we are playing on a standard difficulty. So I'm hoping that is uh, enough that this uh, Spider Woman deck is enough to beat the Green Goblin Dungeon for standard difficulty. Uh, we'll see, and uh, I will set up the scenario and play a game with uh, Spider Woman uh, aggression leadership against Green Goblin uh, Mutagen formula, and instead of the Goblin gimmicks, we have the Master of Time, which will make this a bit more difficult, so we'll see what happens there. So, look forward to the gameplay video, thanks for watching and until next time.